Welcome to the lecture on chi-square test. In the previous lecture, we discussed about t-test and z test for one proportion and two proportions. Okay, we are need to compare two populations: the smoker in population, smokers, and non-smokers. Okay, among smokers, six out of thousand people have lung cancer. Among non-smokers, two out of thousand people have cancer. Now, to compare these proportions, you can apply the two proportion is a test or two proportion t test. But there's another test we can apply that is chi-square test. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about chi-square test. As this lecture is specifically targeting at the non-mathematical students, I'm not going to talk about the basis of the chi-square distribution. I will do that with another lecture. The specific thing in chi-square distribution is, okay, assume that in this kind of situation. Okay, now we are interested in another example. Now we have males and females and we are interested in their preference of color, whether they are interested in red or blue. Okay, we have x1, x2, x3 and x4. Now in routine is a test, we know that if we are interested in whether there's a significant difference between the interested in red among males and females. You have to get the red interested proportion of males and red interested proportion of females. And you can, by applying two proportion Z test or T test, you can come into conclusion whether there's statistical significant difference or not. Ultimately, you can see that we can plot this kind of plot. We call it as a contingency table. Assume that we have another color. Now we have green. We will name that Y1 and Y2. In this circumstance, you can't apply Z test or T test. You have to go for chi square test. In chi square test, you can compare the proportion, two proportions or more than two proportions. So that is the importance of chi square test. How to do that? How to do it in manually, I'm not going to discuss. I will discuss that in another lecture. But if you have a hypothesis to be tested like this, you can apply chi-square test. That is the basis of chi-square test. Again, what are we going to do is, so when you have statistical software, the theory is based on these proportions, you can get the chi-square value using statistical test. So otherwise, there are several techniques like you have to calculate the, the expected values and the row total, column total and the chi-square value for the each census. So like there are several steps. But in statistical software, you can easily get the chi-square value and you have to get the corresponding p-value. If the p-value is significant, we are going to reject the null hypothesis. If the p-value is not significant, we are going to retain the null hypothesis. Now the question is, what is the null hypothesis? In chi-square test, null hypothesis is, assume that we are going to test three proportions or three groups. The null hypothesis is proportion one equals Proportion 2 equals proportion 3. So, the, what is alternative hypothesis? So, the alternative hypothesis will be at, at least one proportion is different. That is the important in chi-square test. So, in chi-square test, if your p-value is significant, you have to reject you are null hypothesis that means you are you can come into conclusion that your hypothesis is correct that means the result is at least two proportions are different or at least one combination of proportions are different if we have three proportions either p1 versus p2 p1 versus p3 P2 versus P3. If the result is significant, either this can be different 
this can be different or this can be different if at least one is different so our p value will be significant that means even all three can be different or any of these two can be different or at least one can be different so now if the p value is significant next step is to find out what are the exactly different proportions in order to do that again you have to compare two proportions using two sample z test t test or again using by using chi square test i have given you the basis of chi square test the basis is in order to compare two or more proportions you can apply chi square test thank you very much